All right, so I set up two lights. Everything is working cool. The Lation Platinum 5R, um, the regular 5R series. And I got some little par cans. Nothing really going on on the side. So I'm just playing around with a few little, uh, few little scenes. And um, the only thing is one light responds perfectly. No issues. The other light, I can't get to tilt from a DMX command. It actually tilts when it's supposed to do something. Mean, I'm sorry, it tilts fine. It pans when it's supposed to do something else. I've tried swapping the DMX channels. I even put them on the same channel so they should respond the same way. Hence, the graphic you see on the wall, I could change the colors, the color wheel is cool. Just want the colors. Um, like I said, the tilt is cool. The, the, see, that one's panning. It pans with, okay, pans. sorry, I had to continue. That light pans with no problem. There it goes, it's panning. This light, and they both tilt. They both tilt, no problem. Tilt, bam. Tilt, this tilt, okay. Trying to get it back up on the wall. There you go, you gotta bear with me. I'm new to this, so. I can get them to tilt, you know, it has its own focus and all of that stuff, I can go through different things. I'm just, uh, let's see, try to get some gobos going. I hate the ones that shapes, but just to give you an idea of some of the stuff, I mean, you guys should be used to it. You can play with the gobos, the way it rotates, different things like that. Let me slow that down before I have the seizure. No, not really, I'm just joking, but that can get a little obnoxious. And then it has the focus. Uh -oh feature which is pretty cool. Oh, what else? What else? What do we have here? I don't know. I guess like a strobing type of effect. I don't know. You guys again will probably know more about it than I do. Um and you know the dimmer of course. What else? I think I went through colors. I went through some color changes already. All right. Actually, I think those are gobo spinning behind it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Those are the uh, glass gobo spinning behind it. I meant to hit the colors. Here we go. Color changes. No problem. And... Oh, so this is what I meant. One of them, it, it responds weird. See, it's panning now. I don't know what that command is. It's something with the iris, but the iris makes it pan. The craziest thing ever. I can pan with that light, and they're both on the same DMX channel. So this light, I can pan with um, with the normal pan. Oh, sorry, that's still, again, you gotta work with me, sorry. This light, I can pan with the normal pan. And then this light, I have to come over to the side, something that it's not pan at all. Again, I have no idea what it is, something with the iris, but that's what's making it pan. So I don't know, maybe you guys know of a fix to that. Other than that, everything else seems to be going smooth. I can run it on like an auto mode. Let's see, you know, let you guys see if I let it go on auto mode, it kind of takes off and does its own thing on its own auto mode. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to catch all of this in the same. If you guys know something, know of a fix. Those are the only things I see was that's wrong with it. Now let's see the two fixtures, the hours on the fixtures, if you can. Let's see that. Information. Time information. Total life hours. This one is over. 1100, that's it, that's the total life hours of that lamp, and then lamp hours, this is the actual lamp hours, so I don't know if it's been reset again, I'm new to this, uh, let's see, time off, and the time off is at zero, now I'll go over to the other lamp, really fast, um, information, 
time information, total life hours. Now this one, the total life hours is 793. And then the lamp hours is 581. So take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Um, that's pretty much it.